Hey everyone, this is Jason. We're looking at how to solve uh, this type of quadratic equation. This is coming up in one of your lessons. I'll, I'll kind of walk through a similar example so you can see how this works. So when we start these out, what we want to do is we want to isolate the uh, radical. So we're going to isolate the radical first. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add x. I'm going to subtract 3 from each side. So that gives me the square root of 9 minus 16x equals x minus 3. So once we get there, so first, second, we're going to square both sides. So I'm going to square each side to kind of get rid of the radical. We can't really solve this with the radical. So we're going to square. And so that gives us 9 minus 16x equals. And this is a binomial that we're going to square. So go back and review either how to use FOIL or how to find the pattern to square a, bi a binomial square. So it's going to be x squared minus 6x plus 9. So go back and review that if you don't remember. So now we're going to solve. And here we're going to isolate the variables on one side. Because we're going to end up completing this square. Alright, so you see we got 9 on each side. Guess what? Because it's the exact same thing on both sides, those are just going to cancel out. So if I subtract 9, they cancel and equal 0. So I'm going to add 16x to each side. Cancels, giving me 0 equals x squared plus 10x and then nothing. So from here, because of this lesson, we're going we're gonna to solve it using completing the square because it's the lesson that we're in. So we're going to complete the square here. So to complete the square, remember it's 10 divided by 2, b divided by 2, which is 5. And then we're going to square that. So we're going to add 25 to each side. Okay, so that gives me 25 equals, and then this becomes x plus 5 squared. That's why we did it, because that's the completing the square process. And so now, we're going to square root each side to solve. So we're going to take the square root, square root. So that gives me positive or negative 5 equals x plus 5. And so x is going to equal 5 plus or minus 5. So I've got two possible answers here. I've got 5 plus 5 and 5 minus 5. So that gives me 10 or 0. So those are my two possible answers. So I'm not done yet because... I have a radical here. I have to make sure these are good viable answers. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. So I'm going to go back to here. So for we have to check solutions. Don't forget this step. And so I'm going to go back to the original problem. I'm going to write it over here so I can have some room. 9 minus 16x and the radical minus x plus 3. And that has to equal 0. I'm going to test both points. So I'm going to test 10. I'm going to test 0. So let's see what happens if I put in 10. I've got 9 minus 160 minus 10 plus 3 has to equal 0. So let's get my calculator out so I don't have to waste time here. I've got this 9 minus 160. That gives me negative 151. And the radical. Minus 10 plus 3. There's no way that's going to equal 0 because this is an imaginary value. So 10 is not a good solution. 10 is no good. So let's test 0. Change colors. And so we've got 9 minus.
minus 0 in the radical, minus 0 plus 3 has to equal 0. Well, 9 minus 0 is 9, square root of 9 is 3. 3 minus 0 plus 3, guess what, does not equal 0, so this has no solution. So don't just assume that yours is no solution. You're going to have to actually go through all this work, and then we have to show all the work. So start by finding your solutions, then make sure you test your solutions. If it turns out like this, yours will be no solution, mine happens to be no solution. So I hope this helps you with a similar problem you're going to have in one of your lessons. If not, please let me know and I'll get you some additional resources.